Well, guys and girls, this is a surprise video and um, I've actually just come in to see my tailor, Michael from uh, Walcott, who's also the tailor of, who else are you the tailor of? Josh Tesselman. JT, Jay Bacani, anyone that does pretty well in real estate. Yeah, so you got so, so you got a you've got a couple you got Tringali. Yeah. You do Tringali. Jake works with um Michael. Yep. Federico Fregamanos. Yep. Fred's a good friend of George's. George's. Um Jeff Lucas, I think. Yes. Done some stuff for Jeff. Um, um so guys and girls, that's the look, hey Ashley, how you going? So hi to everyone that's coming on here. Um Michael, I've come to you today because Eric's on its way. Big event. And you said to me, mate, dress up for Eric. Because time. Tom Panos, it's about time. <laughs> and the reason it's about time <laughs> is I rock up with a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and I throw on a jacket, and then I debate the next day on the Sunday night, Michael, you know what I do? What? I keep going to bed thinking, how can I look different tomorrow so people think I've got, <laughs> you know? More than one jacket. More than one jacket, right? <laughs> and look at this, by the way, guys and girls, White shoes, white shoes, can you wear, can you wear white shoes? Can you wear white shoes with a suit? I think you can wear white shoes with a suit, two reasons. If you want to be Mr. Slick, and if you're selling a lot of property, you can get away with it. I think if you're not selling a lot of property, you need some confidence to wear white sneakers with, shoe, with a suit. I okay, think. so if you're selling one property yeah, a year and yeah, you rock nah. up with white shoes, nah. you, you look like a dickhead. You look like a dickhead. Okay. You're not running. You're not running white sneakers. Right. On so that's years. got a lot to do with it. So what you're saying, it's not just the clothes. It's who's wearing the clothes. I agree. And the results you're getting determines what you can get away with wearing, I think. Okay. Now, out of curiosity, these shoes, is there a kind of suit that you would wear with white sneakers? Yes. So like, I, I can't picture wearing loose fitting, um, no, loose fitting trousers. You want to go a little bit trimmer, in my opinion, as well as I don't think you want to do things that are classic, like stripes and stuff like that. I think you want to stick to solids. You don't want to do anything too kind of Larry pattern wise. You want to stick to like olives, navies, charcoals, a solid suit with a white sneak. I think looks quite quite clean. And a shirt or a t shirt. I think you got a nice open collar white shirt. You get away with the t shirt as well, as long as the t shirt doesn't clash with the color of the suit, because then it just looks a little bit boring, in my opinion. Okay, so the next thing I was going to ask you, Michael, by the way, can I tell you why I'm. Hey, we've got a decent amount of people that have come on on, a, on Tuesday. So, <laughs> what I was going to ask you is this um, if you're wearing. If you're wearing a, a, if you're wearing a t shirt, right? If you're wearing a t shirt. Under a suit, does it matter if it's a V-neck or a round neck? No, not really. Unless you have loads of chest there that you want to, <laughs> right? Want, you want to hide, right? Okay. So let me ask you also: Do you think it's a formal look suit with a t-shirt? No, it's, it's definitely a casual look, and I think you don't want to have a t-shirt that is too close to the color of the jacket if you want the jacket to stand out. For example, if you're wearing a grey jacket, you can get away with wearing a, a black t-shirt or. A, or a white t-shirt. If you're wearing a navy jacket, you don't want to wear a very dark colored shirt because it just looks like it's, it doesn't do, do any justice to the pattern of the jacket. It kind of blends in too much. So you want to have a bit of contrast in the colors of the jacket that you, you're wearing. Do you, Michael, do you know why I think this is an important topic? Because on Sunday night, I did my rant mm -hmm. and I was doing the research. In communication, do you know that 55% is based on what people see? Really? 55%. No. So this is evidence-based. This is not, oh, shit, you know, some stat that someone's pulled out. This is tried and tested. Out of 100%, 55% is what people see. So more than half. So in other words... Before you say a word. Before you, in other words, what I'm saying is, you might have the best content in the world, but if you're wearing a shirt that looks like a parachute, the person you're speaking to is keeps looking and thinking, why wouldn't he just get a proper shirt? Do you understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, and, and, and when I say what they see, it's also body language, you know, and, yeah. and all of that. So, the next thing I was going to ask you, this thing about sports jackets, mm. right? I asked you today, because at Eric, Michael is obsessed with making sure that I look good on the stage for the two days that we're hosting. And why wouldn't I? Because Earl McPherson's going to be there, and I've got a chance 
I've got a little chance to. You look, hey, you look better than L. Mate, you'll be looking better than L. You bet. Hey, I just thought about it. If L <laughs> sees me within those first few seconds and just thinks, where has this man been? <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting pumped. I'm getting pumped about Harry. So, uh, anyway, so Michael, I want to ask you sports jacket. Can you wear a suit jacket as a sports jacket? It depends on the pattern, is, is a short answer. So, if you have a jacket that's a pinstripe jacket, no, you're not wearing that as a sports jacket. If you have a jacket that's navy solid, no, you're not wearing that. It needs to have a different, it has to be different enough to be, get away as a sports jacket. For example, I have maybe a check running through it. I have a window pane, some colours running through it, maybe a different colour buttonhole like you're wearing here. Like, like your buttons. jacket here, you're wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. I've just seen that this, see that hole there? Mm -hmm. Does that help at all? Yes, it does. But you wouldn't te technically do peak lapels with it. See how these go up? Right. You want to do classic notch lapels, yeah. hatch pockets. T typically, it's a bit more of a kind of robust fabric or a, right. or a patterned fabric. Slightly shorter and a different colour buttonhole and buttons as well. So having contrasting buttons for right. the colour of the jacket makes it more of a sports jacket as well. Right. As well as patch pockets, which basically they just round up pockets like that. Makes it look a little bit more casual, which are designed to wear with an open collar, not so much with a, with a tie. It's definitely more of a casual kind of item. What about the length of the jacket? Is there a different length between a sports jacket yes. and a suit the, jacket? The answer is it's up to opinion, but typically you want to go a little bit shorter, just a touch shorter. You definitely still want to clear the bum, otherwise it's too short and looks cheap. You want to go just a touch, just a touch shorter, which just makes it look a little bit less less formal because the suit jacket definitely is meant to clear your bum, meant to be a little bit longer. Sports jacket should be just a touch shorter, just a touch, okay. not too much, just a touch. So Michael, today we spoke about um, um, myself and what we're talking about is on one day I'm going to wear uh, a, a jacket with a vest mm -hmm. and a white shirt, mm -hmm. no tie, no tie but yeah. that looks formal enough. I think so, given that a well cut jacket with jeans, it looks clean, it looks clean is the answer, less... Sorry, sorry, shirt. sorry, I'm talking about day one. Yes. Suit. Yes. With a vest. Correct. You can go... White shirt? White shirt. No tie collar. needed. No tie. Open collar, fine like I'm wearing. Open collar, not Oh, you've collar. got that. Because you've got a vest on? Correct. Okay. So you can run this, no problem. Okay. And if it gets hot, you take your jacket off yep. and you can roll your sleeves up, look like manly here for business. Exactly. It's on panel style. Okay. Sleeves rolled up. Standard Option look. there to sell. Okay. The next thing I was going to ask you is on, on, the, on the second day, uh, Michael... So you don't look. So you don't look like you. You've you've got no clothes. So you 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 you, you, you look different. Oh wow! Okay, he's got he's got the right. two items. Yeah. Okay. So you'd wear a, a pair of jeans, um, and uh, a t-shirt mm -hmm. with a sports jacket, mm -hmm. and you've picked a nice sports jacket. We're not going to give away any colours, but yes, you're going to look pretty good. But I've got to tell you, the guy that you've got to look out for is Josh Tesselin. I'm, I'm yeah. not giving any secrets away, but I found out what he's wearing. Josh is going to look very, very special. He always looks special anyway. He always looks amazing. He's going to be wearing something very naughty. Very naughty. It's going to be... You're not going to be able to miss him, put it that way. You, okay. you, won't, you won't miss him from a mile away. Okay. Between the two of you, both, you'll both be owning the stage. Okay. Now, the last thing I was going to say is um, pocket squares. Are you wearing one? I've just got my lining which pops out. Actually, no, I do. I have a red one here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Which can, I, po can, squares? Can, I, can I ask you, with pocket squares, mm -hmm. right, pocket squares, is there a way to actually have a pocket square? Yes, like, there is. is there a way? Someone said to me that what you do is you go like that and you just shove it in. Other times I see people that have got this square, square. pocket square. Yeah. Well, what's, what's the deal with pocket squares? So I'll show you. I've got, here's a square version that I'm wearing here. Just goes just like that, so it's just a clean fold, which a lot of agents that wear sort of navy solid suits opt for sort of just a clean pocket square like that. If you want to go for something that's a little bit more, I suppose, less refined, but a bit more fun, grab it in the middle. Yeah. Just pop it in just like that. And that's it. That's all you need to do, and it just looks looks nice and like you like you planned, but really you've not put much effort into it. Okay, so that one there looks like you've made more effort. Correct. This is I guess the clean, crisp version. This is the I'm just going to throw it in and you know, a bit of personality to it. Version. Guys, I'm going to put it down to you. Who is the best, who's the best dressed real estate agent, girl or guy, that you see? Whether you see them on social media, whether you see them on their videos that they've got. I'd love to know who is the best dressed real estate agent. I'd love you to put in the comments below. And by the way, 
letting you know. Woolcott in the city, 185, where is it? Elizabeth, Elizabeth Street. Street here. Check them out, woolcott.com.au. They are the tailors to the real estate industry. Hit them up, and um, I'm going to come back here in uh, six weeks for a fitting. Five kilos lighter because you're Five kilos lighter, and I'm not going to have any drinks. Keep them accountable. If you see them drinking. Weeks. Yes. Josh Tesselin. Oh, Gav Rubenstein. People are commenting. Gav. So Gav Rubenstein wears the white shoes. I've, I've seen photos. He wears, he wears, he wears the white shoes. He looks pretty cool too. It, it works on him. He wears. Now, let me ask you. With the suit that you're getting made for me, right? You're not wearing white sneakers with it. I can't wear white sneakers. You can pull it off. Right. But it's, I don't think it's, it's a, not. It's not a super white sneaker. Okay, thing. it's a full, it's a... I think it's a bit more crisp, formal, classic. Okay. Guys and girls, we've got to be serious because it's a serious business we're in. Ladies and gentlemen, signing off. Um, you going to come to Arab? I think so. Yeah. I'll, pop, I'll pop my head in. Come there. I mean, there's a lot of agents. I mean, oh, I'll it's come great for business. I'll come to Gay, everyone. Alrighty, gang. Signing off.